guys! It's been a week since we arrived in Canada and I'm going to share with you how was it, how's the transition, and how are we adapting again after a very long vacation sa Pinas. Sabi ng iba, mahirap na daw sa Canada ngayon. Well, we'll find out. For those of you who are new here, hello, I'm Sally, a nurse turned entrepreneur and we've been in the Philippines for over five years and now we are back to Canada. For those of you na matagal nang nanonood, alam nyo na we've been navigating life and business between two beautiful countries, Canada and the Philippines. But this time, we are back in Canada and I know marami sa inyo ang curious. Bakit? Anong nangyari? Anong mga plano natin moving forward? So, Let's dive into that today. Pero saglit lang, kwento ko lang muna. Alam nyo ba, during the last few days namin sa Pilipinas, grabe, parang ang daming emotions. Part of me didn't want to live. Kasi syempre, di ba, who wants to live tropical paradise? Pero deep down, we knew na may mga reasons kung bakit kailangan namin bumalik. One reason is that Canada is also home to us. So it's like parang namimiss na namin kayo dito. Balik na kayo. Parang ganun. In this video, I'm going to to talk about the three reasons why we went back to Canada and the challenges we faced and the things we didn't expect it. Okay, so let's start with the first reason, family. Alam nyo ba, bilang magulang, there's this constant question in our minds. Are we doing what's best for our kids? Dito sa Canada, we feel like we're giving them the stability they need. And I'm sure na relate kayo, especially sa mga parents watching right now. Lagi tayong may worry, di ba? Na, am I doing enough? Yung pagdating namin, we felt something na, yes, this is the right decision. At ito pang isang na-realize ko, bakit ngayon lang kami bumalik? Like, parang grabe, ang dami naming namis. Anyways, dyan papasok yung dapat may balance sa buhay natin. But of course, ang mindset namin is everything happens for a reason. And whatever that reason is, I know and I believe that it's for the good. We didn't expect much when we got here. Pero grabe na ang pagbabago. Number one, sobrang lumaki yung population, especially Filipinos dito sa city namin. And then, marami na rin mga bagong neighborhood. Yung dating 30 minutes drive, maikot mo na yung buong city, ngayon, baka abuti na ng oras. Plus, nagta-traffic na rin. Dati, five cars line up lang ang traffic. Pero ngayon, ramdam mo na yung nilaki ng population. Kwento ko rin pala. Isingit ko lang. First week pa lang namin, may na-hospital na agad. Our son ate something na nag-trigger ng allergic reaction. Kaya, we had to bring him to the emergency. Ang worry ko is, baka matagal bago siya makita ng doctor or whatever line up sa emergency. Pero, we are super thankful na admit kami agad sa ER. Tapos, nakita din agad siya ng doctor at nabigyan ng gamot. We had to stay there for over 3 hours to make sure na all the rashes are gone at okay na si baby boy bago kami umuwi. Ay! What a week! I never thought I would be in the hospital where I previously worked. But again, everything happens for a reason. And whatever that reason is, it's all good. Now, moving on to the second reason, business. You know me, ever since na nag-shape ako from nursing to entrepreneurship, everything I do is centered around growing and creating opportunities. And that's why we're back in Canada. Have you ever felt like there's more out there for you? Na parang meron kang gustong i-pursue, pero you don't know until you know it. Parang ganon. Ang sarap kasi sa pakiramdam when you know you're in the right place to push forward, di ba? Kung isa ka entrepreneur, alam mo yung feeling na yan. The excitement, the possibilities. Speaking of opportunities, I have partnered with different companies and sponsored some of my videos which makikita nyo sa mga susunod na videos ko. Kaya abangan nyo yan. And another thing which I'm not going to reveal yet, I'm working on something that I love, my passion. And if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you will know what that is. <laughs> Exciting! Now, let's talk about personal growth. Alam nyo, isa ito sa mga hindi dapat mag-stop. Personal growth. This is something I have worked on and will continue working on. I believe that we are all superhumans. I mean, we all have these abilities and capabilities na hindi pa natin na ma-maximize. And I made it my personal goal to find out what more can I do and what more can I give to the world. When we first arrived, naghanap kami agad ng badminton 
badminton court kasi sports ng mga bata ang badminton. So, they can continue their training. Alam nyo, isa sa mga magiging challenge dito ay mga gadgets, screen time, at inactivity due to the weather. Since malamig, mostly nasa bahay lang. So, syempre, nandyan ang TV, computer, video games, at syempre, mga bata, hindi pwedeng hindi mahook sa mga yan. So, my husband and I, we made sure na the kids will have activities like sports or go to the playground to keep them away from all those temptations and to keep them active. And we do it as a family. We too need some activities kasi nga, malamig. Mahirap pagpawisan. Tapos, kain pa ng kain. Naku po. Good thing I found a group that do Zumba every week. Kaya, super happy ako. Alam niyo naman, gustong gusto kong nagsasasayaw. It's a fun way to exercise and be fit. Now, let's talk about challenges we faced when we arrived. First is, I had to retake my driver's exam and road test para makarenew ng driver's license. Well, that's consequence of not renewing your license for over five years. <laughs> Next is, our car was stuck for a very long time, so maraming kailangan gawin, like change oil, battery kailangan buhayin, really need a good car wash, need a service, marami na nag-pop up sa dashboard na kailangan ayusin. So, we were expecting that it's gonna be expensive to do all of that. One day, pinala namin sa casa para ma-check up, and we had to wait an hour for the diagnostics. And then, ito na, tumawag na sila. Nandito na yung findings sa car ninyo. We were shocked when they said everything is all covered and we don't have to pay anything. Pinalitan yung mga dapat palitan, in-order yung mga parts na kailangan i-order, hatid sundo pa kami sa bahay habang sinuservice yung sasakyan. Like, excellent service! So that challenge ended up to be a pleasant surprise. Next challenge is the weather. Ito na naman tayo sa malamig. Eh, lalo ako lamigin. Ang hirap kaya magdamit or pumorma pag maginaw, di ba? I mean, isipin mo pa yung first layer mo, then yung next layer, tapos may outer jacket pa. Hindi ka komportable, mabigat at bulky pa siya. Pero I think, masasanay rin ako ulit. Now, let's go to the things we didn't expect. First is, nakakamis din pala ang Canadian culture. Everyone's so nice. Binabati ka ng, how are you? How are you today? Have a good day? Mga ganun, na-miss ko din pala yung ibang pagkain, lalo na yung sa Costco mo lang nabibili. Another thing is, since we enrolled the kids sa private Christian school, we were able to strengthen our relationship with God by joining the church service every Sunday, participating and volunteering in school and church activities. Those are the things I never expected na mag enjoy ako. Plus, their school is very close to us, kaya pwedeng lakarin. It's been fun, exciting, and happy. And we're so glad we're back. That's it for this kwentuhan. I'll see you on my next video where I talk more about the things I'm working on.